so what is going on everybody it is t glizzy here and we are going to be talking about our maxed out heavy trooper inside of star wars battlefront 2 i wanted to talk about how long it took me and how i think they can improve the progression and how much of a grind it was to actually get my trooper maxed out and before i start this video i want to know what type of trooper are you guys working on maxing out right now do you guys enjoy the assault heavy officer or the specialist class let me know down in the comment section i want to know which trooper you guys are working on currently at the moment so let's talk about the goods about having a maxed out trooper so it does give you a huge advantage in gameplay once you have a maxed out trooper and the issue with this game was when it first launched that it was pay to win the reason for this was you could purchase more crates more crates equal more crafting parts more crafting parts equal epic star cards once you are at level 20 you can upgrade any star card to epic and i've seen plenty of streamers have around 10,000 crafting parts so they can get almost anything they want to epic because it takes around 6 650 to max out one star card with me i only purchased the 80 dollars edition which i'm horrible for i know a lot of you guys are going to be mad about that but i did purchase the 80 dollars edition because i knew the in-game advantage it would give me it would already grant me an epic star card so with that i got an epic improved combat shield you get an epic star card with each class from getting the digital deluxe edition but this was just a little bit of a helping step to get me to my other two maxed out cards so once you have your first maxed out card now it's time to figure out what the other two cards you're going to start working on because you can't start pouring points into one card then switch over to another card even though that's you know maybe fun you want to try out all the cards it's best to find the star card that you want right away because you get those advantages the star cards i chose was bounty hunter and supercharge supercharge is for my turret i mean the freaking sentry is a beast in this game i know you guys are probably got wrecked by it or you guys are wrecking people with it as we speak but the supercharge sentry is a amazing star card to use if you are using heavy i do recommend it once it is maxed out you get a recharge time of 18 seconds so this is a significant difference from the 25 seconds you get i can basically almost use this as a primary weapon it feels like because if i stand out of combat for over 18 seconds then i have another sentry to my disposal uh to my disposal after you know i waited the cooldown time the second star card I chose was the Bounty Hunter star card. I earn battle points at a 20% faster increase rate. So this gives me the chance to drop around two to three heroes a game, and that makes my score go up that much more. So I'm done talking about the star cards. These are the best things about them. I mean, you get these advantages, these significant advantages over people who don't have these star cards. That is why it is key to unlock, you know, your primary star cards right away and to max them out. And like I said, it's around 650 crafting parts. And if you guys do know the crafting part grind it is unreal it is real it is very very real what you have to do is grind crafting parts out since we can't purchase them anymore i know you can't purchase any crafting parts you have to grind them out and this takes a long long time i dedicated around 45 plus hours to my heavy trooper and i finally got them fully maxed out it does take a really really long time to max out these characters and this is an issue i think the way they can fix the progression system is by changing the way you earn credits they need to increase the credit rate by a significant difference such as maybe two times more credits than we're getting per match now we're only getting around 300 credits per match at the max i've dropped around 70 80 kills in a match and only got around 350 credits that is not what we should be seeing we should be receiving around 800 if you drop around 80 kills i'm thinking around 10 kills you get you know 100 credits or something like that i feel like that would be the best way for them to you know go about doing this but i know there are bots and stuff and people would farm but it's better than people purchasing crates it's all in game if you just increase the credit rate and the faster way you can earn credits the faster you can earn crates and the faster you can upgrade to your max trooper class but yeah guys these are my gripes about the game at the moment i finally did get my heavy maxed out and it is enjoyable the gameplay is a freaking a whole nother level it's a whole nother level when i'm playing against players now and i feel like i am at the end game of this game and it's time to max out a second star card class i wonder how long that's going to take because i no longer have any of my milestones inside of my career center 
but yeah guys that is gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the back i just thought i would get that off my chest i just want to talk about how long it took me to actually get this character maxed out and you know the grind that i went through to get this character maxed out but yeah i want to know what you guys are going through right now are you guys grinding out which class i want to know and let me know down in the comment sections but i have been t glizzy you guys have been my awesome viewers and i'll see you guys in another peace